Hey, what's going on? Z Nation, Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and their free agency updates so far into the second day of free agency. Uh, I just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about the Lakers uh, signees and uh, who they potentially be thinking about when it comes to who they're eyeing and also a couple of players who could be leaving the Los Angeles Lakers and also in free agency that we could potentially prepare for so uh, I just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about it without further ado let's just get right into it Hey guys, uh, just real quick uh, before you guys watch this video, I uh, just have to let you know that Rajon Rondo has been signed to the Atlanta Hawks. By the time you guys watch this video, I will probably be mentioning Rajon Rondo as still being a free agent and still deciding where he wants to go. But uh, as of right now, when I was editing, I just got a notifications from Woj from ESPN saying that Rajon Rondo has been has been signed to uh, the Atlanta Hawks on a two-year deal of around 15 million dollars so um, yeah you know I, I mentioned in my video I want to thank Rajon Rondo for uh, you know delivering us a championship as that third option for the Los Angeles Lakers and uh, you know I just wish him nothing but the best in Atlanta so uh, yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and uh, Take it easy out there. Stay safe out there. Thank you. So, guys, uh, as of right now, this is day two of the NBA free agency market. Uh, the Lakers have so far made some uh, key uh, signees when it comes to improving their roster. And one surprising one that I did not see whatsoever come into the into the norms of the Lakers interests of these potential players now I made uh, countless videos uh, yesterday about the signee type of players that the Lakers went after uh, please go check them out uh, I basically put out every single detail into this particular signee that the Lakers uh, you know signed in free agencies so uh, hopefully it helps you guys to know that uh, uh, all the information that went down when it comes to the Lakers decision of signing these particular players uh, but you know I can go by the list uh, you know the Lakers and free agency on day one uh, signed uh, which it was no surprise really for most Laker fans uh, was uh, Wesley Matthews uh, the Lakers signed him to a one, one year deal somewhere around I think 3.3 million dollars uh, it's it just a really veteran minimum uh, signee uh, it was just an obvious uh, choice that the Lakers went after just to replace uh, Danny Green uh, who obviously got traded with the whole all, uh, um, Dennis Sch Schroeder uh, trade uh, on draft night so um, it was just an obvious uh, decision the Lakers made they wanted to get some shooters and they're basically going after some uh, potential players uh, in 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 this free agency market so it still remains to be seen who will that particular uh, player will be but it still remains to be seen but uh, you know uh, Wesley Matthews uh, he's just a, a good fit for the Lakers when it comes to coming off the bench and just uh, you know bringing his shooting ability uh, he does have a high issue to have a problem with but uh, you know if he can still score if he could still like shoot for you then uh, I'll be okay with it when it comes to a player that's coming off the bench so a great choice by the Los Angeles Lakers by getting a um, Wesley Matthews, which ironically, his father back in the 80s won two championships with the Los Angeles Lakers. So I just find it ironic and I did not really know that his father played for the Los Angeles, for this Los Angeles Lakers uh, back in the 80s. So uh, a little bit of history, uh, Lakers history for you guys to know about. Uh, so, uh, you know, welcome to the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, uh, Wesley Matthews, or what the some people call him is uh, Wes Johnson, uh, Wes uh, uh, Matthews. So, um, so the second uh, signee that the Lakers went after was a surprising one. I did not see it coming, and that was Montres Harold, the sixth man of the year 
uh, Trez, okay? The guy, I was very surprised by this signing by the Los Angeles Lakers. It was kind of, uh, you know, a kind of a, uh, a slap in the face to the uh, the Clippers out there in, the, in Los Angeles. So, um, me, I just was so surprised by the reports by uh, Woj from ESPN and uh, uh, Shams Tarania. I mean, he was, they were all on top of it when it came to this particular report. I made a video about it uh, before this one, so please go check it out. Uh, I find it very fitting for the Lakers to go after a guy who is very athletic. Uh, he is undersized for being, I think, 6'8 or 6'9 to be at the center position, but, uh, you know, if he can give us 18 points a game and give us that type of performance last season, his career high, uh, then the Lakers are basically golden when it comes to uh, potentially uh, going after a championship for another repeat in 2021. So uh, Montrez Herald is just a perfect fit for the Los Angeles Lakers after the Lakers losing uh, Dwight Howard to the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, with my understanding that went down with the whole Dwight uh, Howard situation with the Lakers, uh, what I heard from uh, Trevor Lane from Lakers Nation is that, you know, at, at one point the Lakers did give out a scenario type of deal for Dwight Howard to come back. And, you know, he made a tweet about it. And uh, for some reason, his agent told him to, or his representatives told him to, uh, delete that tweet because it didn't really happen yet. And he waited and waited, and then somehow he was tired of waiting and took his talent to um, the Philadelphia 76ers. And uh, he's going to be teaming up with uh, with Ben Simmons and those boys. So uh, it's just um, a very ironic type of move on his end. I'm not sure who was to blame from both sides. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is just another classic uh, Dwight Howard situation where, you know, he just, you know, he just wasn't patient enough or probably did not see any value of him, as, you know, staying with the Los Angeles Lakers, which I really think he would have had a better opportunity to stay with the Los Angeles Lakers because of his... Um, he would have an opportunity to start for the Los Angeles Lakers. They probably would have gotten a little bit more money from the Los Angeles Lakers if he signed up one year, somewhere around, I don't know, like a five, maybe seven million dollars. I mean, it would have been that type of scenario, but he took less, joined the Philadelphia 76ers, and just took his talents there. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those type of moments where, you know, you just have to make type of uh, hard decisions. And I think Rob Palenka made a, a better decision by getting Martris Harold over um, Dwight Howard. I mean, you know, he's still young, 27 years old. He fits well with uh, Anthony Davis uh, around uh, the, his age and stuff. So it kind of, it's kind of fitting. And plus, you know, he's a, he's a clutch client. So, you know, Rich Paul and, you know, he probably knows about uh, LeBron James. So, you know, he, they have a good relationship. So it, I think it's a good fitting for them to for the Lakers to sign uh, Martres Harold uh, to the Los Angeles Lakers, and uh, I wish Dwight nothing but the best uh, at in Phillies. But um, you know, it is what it is, guys. That's the nature of all free agency. You don't really get to have all the players that it's on your team to come back. But you know, that's the nature of the free agency market, which uh, I find it interesting at times and sometimes uh, kind of heartbreaking. So um, you know. It is what it is. I mean, we got Montrezl Harold. Uh, you know, this still makes me seen who the Lakers will continue to pursue. I mean, it's the second day. By the time I upload this video, maybe some signees will potentially happen. Uh, but it still makes me seen who will that be. I know the Lakers have eye on a uh, couple of players in mind from um, uh, Mark Casal, uh, you know, the brother of Pal Casal, which, by the way, the Lakers did draft him uh, and traded him right away, I believe, back in 2007, I believe. Uh, but, um, you know, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I mean, they are just looking at him as of right now. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of news lately when it comes to other players that the Lakers are looking at. Uh, you know, just still remains to be seen. I mean, they're probably going to be going after another shooter or maybe possibly another sh uh, shooting guard uh, that could be a, a starter potentially, but still remains to be seen who will that be. Um, 
uh, you know, I just won't be surprised by anything that Rob Polinka pulls off because, you know, he's been doing a great job for the Los Angeles Lakers. He's been pulling off some great uh, uh, signees for the Los Angeles Lakers as so far in this free agency market. Um, and uh, when it comes to the, the rest of the Lakers uh, who are not going to be coming back, uh, there's already, already been a sign from the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, not just from Dwight Howard going to Philly, but uh, Avery Bradley. He took his talents to South Beach, joining the Miami Heats on a, I believe, one-year deal. Or, oh, no, sorry, two-year deal, around $11 million. Uh, you know, it's kind of sad to see him go because he was the main focal point uh, for the Lakers when it came to the beginning of the season uh, in the uh, 2019 and 2020 so uh and you know he was just a huge help uh, defensively and for the los angeles Lakers. and uh so far he just established himself as being one of the best uh defensive point guards uh you know so far in this league so uh you know he's taking his talents to a really good opportunity for him i mean he's going to be uh, you know being teaming up with jimmy butler and i wish him nothing but the best uh but you know um you know, I think the Lakers could have put off a, a, a signee for uh, Avery Bradley in that type of scenario, type of range of a contract. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, some players need to make a decision for their own uh, careers and their own uh, families. So I think uh, him going to uh, the Miami Heat, uh, it's kind of fitting for him. I, it's not like uh, Dwight Howard uh, where he goes to Philly instead of going to somewhere where he could potentially start or could of potentially just remained with Los Angeles Lakers and had a better security and just possibly would have started for the Los Angeles Lakers. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I wish Avery Bradley nothing but the best there. And uh, hopefully he thrives or potentially over there with the uh, Miami Heat. Um, and uh, when it comes to Rajon Rondo, I, I made a video about this, uh, you know, a couple of videos ago about the circumstances with uh, Rajan Rondo. He is leaving. Uh, he did post on Instagram of uh, thanking the organization and the fans. And, you know, uh, guys, I have to say, you know, I really want to thank Rajan Rondo. He really stepped up for the Los Angeles Lakers in the playoffs. He delivered us a championship. So, you know, uh, being that third option, for the Los Angeles Lakers and it's just uh, a good fitting for him to go get paid okay he deserves it he was trying to build himself back to what Rajon Rondo used to be with the Celtics uh, it's just a little bit of a glimpse of his uh, potential ability to really help out a team uh, it still remains to be seen who the who who where he will be going to it could be the LA Clippers but he could get potentially more money with the with the um the Atlanta Hawks, so that's the type of scenario that uh, he could potentially do, but uh, it still remains to be seen where he'll be going, but all I can say is that he's not going to be coming back to the Los Angeles Lakers, but you know, the Lakers got a much better upgraded version of him, and that is uh, Dennis Schroeder. Uh, he's a similar player to uh, Rajon Rondo, and you know, but much younger, and uh, you know, it's just a perfect fit for the Los Angeles Lakers to get a guy like uh, Dennis Schroeder to the Los Angeles Lakers. So, um, so yeah, guys, that's the whole update so far for the Los Angeles Lakers in uh, free agency. I mean, uh, it still remains to be seen who they'll be potentially going after after you know countless days of free agency searching uh you know still remains to be seen about anthony davis uh he did he is going to resign with the los angeles lakers okay there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to that he's not going to sign with the los angeles lakers okay he is going to sign and uh you know he still needs to make some decisions i mean i hate this um this whole drought of just uh you know having Laker fans at the edge of their seat to find out if you're going to be signing long term or short term or whatever it is I uh, you know it's just uh, that anticipation and I hate that being you know being a Laker fan you know you, you, you know you just hate that type of scenario when it comes to a top star uh, you know thinking that the way he that he thinks but you know I think his agent has to do something about this but uh, uh, but no mistake Anthony Davis is going to re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers it probably before Thanksgiving, but, uh, uh, you know, it could be earlier, maybe possibly Sunday, but, you know, still remains to be seen about that. So, um, 
So yeah, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos. Please give me your thoughts about the Lakers' next move in free agency. Who do you think that they will sign in free agency that could be a huge help to the Los Angeles Lakers? Should they sign a Mark Gasol to add on another center to that can really help out the Lakers at the starting role? Or do you think uh, the Lakers uh, could potentially... Uh, I don't know, somehow go and get another veteran, maybe a Carmelo Anthony type of scenario that could uh, really, uh, you know, help the Lakers off the bench wise or potentially work in type of scenario at the starting role with uh, LeBron playing at the point guard and him playing at small forward. But uh, I'm just throwing out some names. Uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions and thoughts about potential players that the Lakers could go after and sign, um, I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.